nice one cool dudes i am in wales conway to be precise i probably pronounced that wrong apologies that is conway castle and up there is conway mountain where i'm going to be walking today it's 9.8 miles and i'm slightly dreading it should take me absolutely ages all right let's get going good luck everyone especially me Here's a question for you cool dudes. What is Conway the home of? The smallest toilet in Britain, the smallest house in Britain, or the smallest ego in Britain? The smallest house in Great Britain. And according to a walking guide, the last person to live there was in 1900, and he was a sailor who was six foot tall. Hope he enjoyed it. Pretty nice views. And then you look up there at all the pigeons. Look at that. Disgusting vermin. And there's a cat in the window. Let the cat out to kill the pigeons. It's stunning here, cool dudes. Some Conway facts. It's famous for mussel fishing. And a man called Sir Richard Wynne once gave King Charles II's queen a pearl which is still in the crown jewels to this very day. Oh, I very much like that fact. I'm staying at an Airbnb just over there in the gangway. I've decided I'm going to climb the mountain a bit first because I'm sort of dreading it. And I want to get out of the way and not be stuck there later on in an hour's time. This is how steep this first bit is. And I'm adopting the philosophy of getting the worst out of the way first, which I perfected during many years of eating Sunday roasts when I tried to eat the Brussels sprouts first because I just spied them. If I couldn't face eating the Brussels sprouts, my backup plan was to try and sneak them into my hand, then into my pocket, and then say I needed to go to the loo and flush them away. Nice one, see you later Sprouts. I still hate them to this very day. Look how steep this is. It's almost vertical. This bit is going to involve a lot of heavy breathing from me. Trekking poles. An absolute must for this cook, dude. There are a lot of mountain bike tracks around here. I can't imagine anything more terrifying than coming down here on a mountain bike, let alone getting hit by one. Pretty scary stuff. In retrospect, cool dudes, it might be better coming down this way because the view is absolutely breathtaking. I don't know if it can match it the other side. Oh, sh I think I've got to walk up there. Oh, no. I had to wait for this loud mouth bloke to go past. You could hear his voice literally a mile off. A bit too steep for me now, actually, please. I'm not really enjoying the heights, to be honest. That bit I did not enjoy at all, coming round with a narrow drop. But the views are beautiful. Okay, no more steep bits, please. A 
a pretty incredible time to find out you don't like heights, but nonetheless, the view is spectacular. I'm just full of dread about how steep it's gonna be on the way down. As we wind down the mountain, cool dudes, it's time for the question of the day, which is what famous person would you save? So a famous person that has um, died in untoward circumstances, and you can extend their life. So, you know, famous examples would be JFK, John Lennon, maybe all the people who died when they were 27, all the rock stars. I've been thinking about this, and mine probably would have to be Buddy Holly because he was only 22 and I think he revolutionised music. He achieved so much. And I really feel like he should be given another 40 or 50 years. Um, I'd be very interested to hear what yours are. Please write them below. Nice one. I think the reason why I'm such a crybaby about heights is because I have a reoccurring nightmare and no one likes hearing people's dreams, so I apologise. But mine is that I'm trying to climb up this steep hill which gets steeper and steeper and I can't climb it and it looks like I'm going to fall down it. Sounds rubbish, but when you're in the middle of it, it is almost as terrifying as the dream when you go to school without any pants and trousers. Nice one. Um, excuse me, what are you reading? Uh, what, what are you reading? Can you imagine if he actually turned around and spoke to me? That would be really bad. So this place is Kapalulo. I probably pronounced it wrong. And in the sixth century, a hermit who was a holy man named Ulo lived here in seclusion at the entrance to the valley. So he could think and pray in peace. He's facing the spot where he lived all those centuries ago. I'm not sure if I, if I can make it around there, so I'm gonna walk along the coastal path and then hit the beach later on. There's the train, nice one. I'm glad I chose to do the walk this way around because it's turned a bit windier and a lot colder. So I'm glad I'm not up on the mountain. Yeah, and also because you're a scaredy cat crybaby. No, I'm not. I was very brave. No, you weren't. I was there. You were almost wetting yourself. You weren't brave at all. It wasn't even that scary. Don't just shut up, sunglasses, Marrick. I suppose I must seem different now to the viewers. Now I've conquered the mountain. I always knew I was special. Not in that way. It must 
be one of the busiest golf courses I think I've ever seen. There are a lot of men in gilets playing golf and I think a gilet is possibly the most disgusting item of clothing you can wear. I never want to own one. Is there an item that you find disgusting? Please write it below, cool dudes. I'd love to know. Nice one. It says, sunset that way, Conway this way. in the small house. Uh, I think I'll finish it here, right by those pigeons. Nice one, cool dudes. I am back at the castle. That walk was nearly five hours. I think it was about 10 miles, probably a bit more than 10 miles. It was a beautiful walk. I recommend doing it, not when it's bad weather conditions. And maybe if you don't like heights, find a route that is less near the edge in that place when I almost bottled it, but I didn't really bottle it. If you enjoyed that, why not join a Cordy's Walking Club and you can help me go on trips like this and make more walks. Just go to the uh, community page here, click on the join button and you can choose what tier you want to join from just 99p a month or 199 or even more if you fancy. And in return, you get to watch extra videos plus use these emojis and get entry into the prize draw. That is it. Thank you very much for watching. Prize draw coming up next. Oh yeah, one more thing. Stay cool. Oh yes, a lovely piece. This is now available on eBay. Original masterpiece. Starting price. Three pounds. What a bargain. This could turn my home into the, the National Gallery almost. All right. Um, it's time to say thank you to everyone who's become a member on YouTube. I've now passed the 500 mark. There are 515 YouTube members. I want to say a big thank you for helping me to continue to do this. I would not be able to do this channel and have to get a job if you weren't supporting me. So thank you very much. All right. Also, because we're past the 500 members, there is a new emoji. I did a poll on it and the winner was Artist Marek. Here is the new emoji, which you can get by writing artist or picking it from the emojis it's time for the prize draw currently there are 515 members so the prize draw this time includes a special 500 marit key ring as well as an either the engine stationary set of card of conway castle the Pooman cards the stickers and a bespoke sketchbook and badges oh also strawberry laces what a prize. It's time to say, random number generator, generate me a number. Generate 250. The 250th member is Richard M. Richard M, uh, I've got your details, so I will email you in the next couple of days. Congratulations. Thank you to everyone. And that is about it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Stay cool.